Barney has gymnastics this morning. Look, KK. The marching. The circle right now. Okay, I made a little friend. Guys are about to do our personal favorite. Everybody's Kayvon's personal favorite. Air track. We've been on the air track before for about how to move it. We're going to sit down on the white line. Vaughn just knows. He's ready. Three, two, one, zero. Go and jump for us on there. I'll have to plate the whole thing. Hands down, touch the ground, tuck your chin to your belly, and roll. Oh my god. Wow, good job, Vaughn. Guys, Vaughn goes crazy for bubble time. Okay, look at this. They end the class with bubbles. Okay, okay look, catch him. Bubbles! Listen to Vaughn saying donut. No. He says no nut. No nut. No nut. No nut. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Those aren't cookies, they're donuts. I personally don't want any donuts, so Mel's gonna do a little donut haul. He's already eaten half of one. Him and Vaughn are sharing this blueberry. This is a whole wheat. Whole wheat? Donut? I've never heard of a whole wheat donut. With blueberry icing. And this might be one of the better donuts I've ever had. Really? Guys, pregnancy like really just changes your like taste buds. Like everything doesn't like everything Take sounds. A bite. It's good. <laughs> I don't know what it is, guys, but pregnancy literally makes everything. Like I've been eating like a toddler. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. I like the blueberry on it. Let's see what else you got. As mind you, Vaughn the whole time we're in there was screaming, "No nut! No nut!" Cookie, no nut. Maple dipped. Okay, that looks kind of good. Maple icing. And then I got this. What the know. hell is that? I'm not exactly sure, but it looks <laughs> delicious. So. Guys, me and my butterfly clips, I'll literally like clip it to my shirt. Um, but yeah, as you guys saw this morning, we went to gymnastics. We started taking Vana gymnastics last week, and it's really fun. We actually look forward to it like every week. It's like three times a week, and Vaughn gets all of his energy out. He's around other kids his age, and the teacher is really nice. It's really fun. I think after today, they might stop inviting Vaughn back. He'd just be bulldozing through the whole class. This poor little <laughs> girl, guys, like Vaughn had like a magnet on her and like anytime he was running around, like he body slammed into her twice, poor thing. But she handled it. Like I thought she, she handled it better than Vaughn. Like Vaughn was like getting up like <laughs> No, but guys, if you look at Vaughn, he has like a knot on his eye. Like he actually hurt himself. Yeah. But you're the one who was like bulldozing people. So Yeah, Vaughn is just like 
when he the thing is when Bond runs he always looks back behind him to like see if I'm chasing him or running after him <laughs> so, he doesn't so look he's not looking at what like is in front of him even yeah. if I'm not chasing him I could be sitting there like sitting down eating and he'll be playing a game in his mind and run away from me and run into something like he's Crazy. We just came to gymnastics and there's this donut shop right next to it and this is the ah. first time we actually went to the donut shop and literally ah. it's like everybody from class. I guess it's like a ritual you go to the gym yeah. and then go get a donut. Um, but yeah, Mel got his donut. Guys, I hate when Mel asks me what I want to eat because I'm like, babe, this is not the time to like be on like my wave because I think everything doesn't sound good, literally. Mel will be like, what do you want? And I'm like, air. No, you'll be like, nothing until it's too late or too inconvenient, then you'll finally be like, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm craving, like last night, let's tell them the story time from last okay, night. Okay, yeah, I got Taco Bell last me night. Me and Vaughn went out to go eat because Nas didn't know what she wanted to eat, so I'm like, we're not waiting for you. Me and Vaughn are gonna go eat. We went to go eat. I called Nas on my way home. I'm like, babe, I'm about to be home. Do you want me to stop and get you something to eat? Do you want me to go to Ralph's? Like, I offered to go to Ralph's, not just to like a fast food place. I offered to stop and grocery shop. She says, no, just come home. As soon as I get home, probably 20 minutes after I get home, I'm really craving some nachos. You wanna go pick me up some nachos? What? I literally just asked you 20 minutes ago if you wanted something to eat or if you wanted me to stop for something. I wish that y'all men could be pregnant for literally like two weeks and see how it feels. Oh, Imagine I'm being sorry. starving yet having no appetite at the same time. Imagine being nauseous but hungry at the same time. Like, you're nauseous if you don't eat, but then when you do eat, you're nauseous as well. Like, imagine that. Imagine that for 10 minutes. Sounds horrible. It's horrible. The least y'all can do is get our cravings when we ask. Like, it's the I bare do. minimum. You do. But you're not gonna inconvenience me by sending me out 20 minutes after I got home. Would I look like a Jimmy John's delivery driver? You were a Jimmy John's <laughs> delivery driver. That was one of your previous careers, you little cutie. It's like incredibly windy today. Yeah, More usually. More windy than normal. Usually Vaughn goes to the park at this time with Bawa like every day. Bawa will still probably take him out and then call us that and it's too cold. That's Bawa's probably. thing. He always says, no, it's not too cold to take him to the park. Then he literally calls us 20 minutes later and he's like, we're freezing. Come pick us. But today is too undeniable. Like Bawa wouldn't even be able to, like he wouldn't say that because just They'd look. They fly away. Like usually it's just windy by our house, but it's windy everywhere. Yeah. And I knew it was bad because I could feel it while I was driving. Like I could mm. feel the wind blowing the car. Um, you know what? Vaughn calls water in English. He says Lalo. Lalo. When he says Lalo, that's how you know he wants water. Um, but pretty much the rest of our plans today, we don't really have that many. I got a lot of cleaning done yesterday. Thank goodness. Ever since like the first trimester, I'm like finally getting out of the first trimester. I hated cleaning and now I'm like finally getting back into like you know my routine and doing laundry more efficiently and more often um but i just want to like finish up the rest of my cleaning and then later tonight like at like 8 p.m we're no, going out no, to dinner no, with no, yvette no, and ulises i'm so no, excited no. i was really craving stk i've never been to the stk in la no, but i've been to the one no, no, a bunch no, of times no, in no. vegas in miami and no, it's no. so good you guys and i'm like i want it so i was like let's do a cute little double date you know, because mm -hmm. we haven't really been like socializing with people. So yeah, that is the plans for today. All right guys, so I just picked up these purses for knives that I dropped off like last week to get clean and they look perfect. So go take them to Nas and see what she thinks about them. Yay, guys, I'm so excited. This purse was filthy. Filthy. I can't really see it because it's dark in here. Mm, looks good, though. And then you checked it? They showed yeah. it to you? Yay! Mm. Happy. Well, this, is, this one wasn't the challenge. The Prada one was the challenge. Yeah. Guys, so this is the bag. Actually, Rissa and Kwan got this for me for my birthday. And... Like we have this like incense in our bedroom and somehow the purse was leaning on the incense sticks. So like the oil from the incense, like, you know, leaks. Oh wow, they got it out. So I have like an oil stain right here. 
cute. Yeah. What's up, you guys? I just got another package from ThreadUp in the mail, and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. So you guys know I've been working with ThreadUp for such a long time now. So if you guys have never heard of ThreadUp, they are a online consignment and thrift store, so you guys can easily thrift shop in the comfort of your home. You don't have to go out anywhere, and you can still get amazing deals on so many amazing brands like Lululemon, Nike, North Face, literally all of my Juicy Couture, like all my little Juicy Couture tracksuits are from ThreadUp and I absolutely love working with them and all the pieces that I find on there. And the best part is, is that you guys can get 60% off your first order plus free shipping by using my code Nazanine. So I'll put it on the screen for you guys right here. But let's just get into some of the pieces I got. I just love the fact that again, ThreadUp makes it so easy to thrift shop. I have never been a talented thrift shopper. You know, people love thrifting. They find it relaxing, they find it fun. I find it a headache and a half. I can never find anything. And especially with Mel, I go with Mr. Fashionista. He literally finds so many pieces and I always leave empty handed, which is why I'm so happy I found ThreadUp because I don't have the patience to sit there and you know, go through every single item on the rack. And that's honestly how you gotta do it in a thrift store. If you don't have the patience to to look through everything, you're not really gonna find those, you know, amazing pieces. And that is why I just love the fact that I can shop in my home, in my bed, in my jammies, and I can just look at, you know, all the items on the website and I can just sit there and I can type in North Face jacket, I can type in Juicy Couture tracksuit and it will all come up for me instead of having to go search for those items. If you guys are looking for a certain piece like a coach bag or, you know, a baby fat purse. Yes, I also got a baby fat purse off of ThreadUp. They have so many cute like Y2K pieces too. But if you guys are looking for a certain item like that, highly recommend you guys check out ThreadUp first so you guys can get that amazing deal and also use my code too to get that 60% off so again highly recommend you guys check it out and the great thing about ThreadUp is because it is an online thrift store you can also sell your items on there as well and the beauty of it is they do everything for you so they're gonna be taking the pictures for you they're gonna be posting the listing for you so literally all you have to do is just send the clothing items in and that's what keeps me from selling a lot of my you know pieces that I've been holding on to is Honestly, I could sit here and lie and say I don't have the time to do it, but I'm just too lazy to do it. I am too lazy to sit there and take these pictures, you know, list all the items, fill out the description and all that stuff. So the fact that I can send it into ThreadUp, I haven't done it yet, but I'm definitely planning on it. I'm for sure gonna take advantage of that and sell some of my pieces on ThreadUp. Let's get into the haul. So I know I keep on mentioning the North Face and that is because I got another item from the North Face. You know, I'm an Ohio girl at heart, okay? This is like what I grew up on, like things like this with my leggings and my Ugg boots. But this super cute, North Face little half zip pullover. So cozy. I love the fact that it's not too thick. So, you know, it won't like make you burn up, but it's just such a nice basic to have in my closet. So retail, this is $100 and I got it for, wait for you guys, I got it for $39.99. I literally got it for less than half, which is amazing. And I'm telling you the deals that you guys can get on ThreadUp, you guys definitely need to check it out. And again, don't forget, even though it's online, it's still a thrift store. So when you guys go on there and you see something you like, you can't just be like, oh, I'll come back and check it out next week and get it. No, you gotta get it right then and there because again, it's a it's a thrift store. So literally once that item sells, it is gone until you know somebody else lists something like it or lists an item similar to it. So again, keep that in mind. Don't let it fool you just because it's online it's gonna go. Now this was a little interesting piece. This is a dress from Forever 21. I wouldn't really say this is my style per se, but I just really gravitated towards it because I love the silhouette of it. It just looked like such a cute little like mom dress. You know what I mean? Like cute, hot mom. I haven't tried it on yet. I hope it looks, you know, good on. But this is again from Forever 21. I got this in a size small, which is pushing it. So yeah, this is just a little long sleeve cocktail dress. It retails for $28. I got it for $18.99. This piece I am so excited for. Like this is gonna be in my closet for years and years. This is a black Lululemon little workout tank. So it has a built-in bra as well. And especially now that I'm pregnant, I don't always wanna wear like just a sports bra when I work out, you know what I mean? So I love the fact that this also hides my stomach. But this is so cute, you guys. Amazing quality. This retail is $58. I got it for $30. $33.99. I got this little top from H&M and it's just like a basic little top. I thought this would be cute with like leather pants or something like that for a night out. So this retail was $12. I got it for $8.99, literally less than $10, which is amazing. Now this, okay, we need to pause. 
we need to take a breather okay because this i got such an incredible deal on this piece it is a bcbg dress it retails for 300 let me check for the exact 338 dollars okay this is 338 dollars i got it for 66.99 literally a third of the price and when i tell you this dress is incredible it is so beautiful i need a little island vacation so i can like wear this but i love this neckline the ruching like everything about this dress the braided the braided backing like look at that so beautiful it is this gorgeous teal color it's long it's pretty i just oh, i love it this is honestly one of my favorite pieces from the haul i feel like my favorites hold on let me like show you guys everything and then i'll say my favorites i only have two more items to show you guys i got this incredible coat you guys you guys know me i love a trench coat i love the sophisticated lady style and this coat is no exception it is so beautiful it is this cream trench coat it's from the brand jones new york and it has shoulder pads it's amazing quality you guys like it looks brand new so clean it has buttons this coat right here retails for 200 dollars. i got it for 52.99 such a good deal and this is again something that's going to be in my closet for so many years last item i have to show you guys from thread up is actually an accessory and i think this is so cute you guys this reminds me of my childhood like my mom always had i'm sure all of our moms had something like this in their purse for all of their coins but it is just this cute little coin pouch from coach and when i tell you guys it looks amazing like there's no scratches hold on let me focus on it but you guys can see it a little better now absolutely no scratches no tears nothing like that like i said it is a key pouch so you can attach it to your keys like this or you can just put this in there and just keep this as like a little coin purse or card holder in you know your purse this retails for 40 dollars. i got it for 18.99 so again definitely check out thread up for anything like this like your little y2k vintage pieces definitely check out thread up again you guys can use my code nazanine to get 60 percent off your first order as well as free shipping so it's an amazing deal you guys definitely want to take advantage of it i'll have it linked down below for you guys and thank you so much to thread up for partnering with me for today's video love you guys so much and let's get on with the rest of this video all right what's good guys so it's actually been a couple hours since we left the mall we've been back home we stopped and got some food Kayvon's at the park with Baba right now and then I just washed our car because we are going out to eat tonight as Nas said earlier since we're parking valet you know I want to have the car looking nice I can't be pulling up to valet with my car all dirty and stuff like that so I just washed the car, just the outside because we're having our detailer come in like two days to like give it a deep clean. So I only did the outside, nothing too crazy. But as you can see, the kitchen is a little bit messy. Just a little bit, it's just like stuff from the day, us coming home and like putting stuff on the counter. We didn't really get to anything yet. Nas is upstairs, she fell asleep. I was super tired too, but I'm not really one to take naps. Like when I take a nap, I feel like it throws off my whole day. Like, I don't know, I'd rather just go in my man cave and like just relax, play the game for like 30, 45 minutes. Just let my brain decompress because if when I fall asleep, I just feel like so lazy and like my whole day is thrown off when I wake up. And I'm not saying that people who take naps are lazy. I'm just saying how I feel and why I don't take naps personally. Yeah, so I'm about to just clean up down here while Nas is asleep and hopefully she wakes up in time to clean up a little bit upstairs before we leave because our housekeepers are coming tomorrow. And that's the unfortunate thing about the timing of our dinner tonight is because Baba and Kayvon will be here alone tonight. And so I'm not sure what condition the house is gonna be in when we come back home. So that's why now I wanna get a really good start, get it as clean as possible. It sucks because we have our housekeepers come, but the day before they come, I feel like that's the day that we do the most cleaning. And it's like, what's the point of having a housekeeper? We're doing all this cleaning, but you know, we have to put things away, make sure things are in the right places because we don't want them to have to do more work than they do. They just come here and deep clean and mop, clean the baseboards, little tedious things like that that we don't really want to worry about. That is why I'm going to straighten up so I can get a head start on it so that we don't have to come back from dinner and do like a crazy amount of cleaning. We can just come home and put away Kayvon's toys or whatever it is Baba and him get into while we're gone. So yeah, I guess I'll film a little bit of me cleaning. We wanna get better at vlogging. We're gonna get a lot better at vlogging over the next few months and leading into uh, you know the new baby getting here and things like that. So 
we're really going to put a lot more effort into going harder with our vlogs and just having them be a lot more personal and giving you guys more of um, a true inside look of what goes on in our day to day because I feel like a lot of times we just pick up the camera, film like little short clips and put it down. We, we got to really get better at um, filming and engaging you guys a lot more. So clean with me. Okay, how's the park? Politicians, activists, just, just hey. celebrating black culture for this. How's the park? Uh, I'm, I'm no. excited to. You got some chocolate on your face? Ready to eat? Hello, everyone. As Mel told you guys, I was taking a nap, but I slept so good. That was very much needed. And the fact that I woke up to like the kitchen, perfectly clean to the living room and stuff. I really appreciate Mel for that. That was amazing. But I want to show you guys organically like what my hair looks like after this nap. This is what I woke up with my hair looking like. Like how did that, how did this happen? But anyways, you guys, I'm just about to put on some tan and because I need it like for tomorrow, so I'm gonna let it develop like tonight. That's the thing with tan, you guys. When you apply your tan and then you wash it off after you know the recommended amount of time, um, you're not gonna get your final color right away. It's the DHA that's in the tan that's going to like react with your skin and give you the true color. And usually that doesn't happen for like hours after you wash it off. So that's why I like to have it done, you know, the night before usually. So I'm just gonna put on my tan real quick and then I'm gonna start doing my makeup for tonight for dinner. I'm so excited, you guys. Again, I've never been to this LA location, but I've been to the Miami location, the Vegas location, and it was really, really good. And I'm just really craving their bread. Like obviously their steak is amazing but like that bread i'm gonna show you guys it's that bread with the like it's like this garlic butter and then like they have this little oil on the side it's that oil okay it's like a green oil and i remember when i first saw it i was like what is this but it's like a chive oil like a chive green onion oil all i know is that my mouth is watering just thinking about it but again with this pregnancy i'm like craving it and who knows i'm gonna go take a bite and be like I don't want this, but I'm hoping that does not happen. But yeah, let me put on my tan. By the way, I know this bathroom looks so dirty. I took out everything out of Mel's drawers because I was gonna vacuum the drawers. You know what I mean? Like there's like a bunch of little hairs and little particles and stuff in the drawer. And then I keep putting it off. So I need to just do that tonight so I can put all that stuff back. Loving tan, I've been using this since high school. Loving tan in the shade dark. With the mitt, if I can find the mitt. I haven't tanned in so long, yes, my mint. Okay, so I just put on my spray tan. Obviously it's not very dark because it has to develop, but I'm just working on my makeup. I just did my eyebrows. My eyebrows take me like 15 minutes by itself, but let me just say my eyebrows today are a work of art. They look really good, like in person. I really like how they look. I've actually switched back over to the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I, I used to love this and I got into the whole, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze, but I forgot how much I love this. So I just did this with my ABH brow pencil. And then also this is another product I rediscovered. I stopped using this for a while. The NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. So again, for my makeup, I'm not doing anything crazy. I do want to try out this new foundation. Um, I've been seeing really good reviews about it. By the way, I did prime my skin before I started my eyebrows. This is the Makeup Forever Hydra Booster. This is the first time I ever used it. Guys, the problem with my skin is I do have dry skin. So I feel like whenever I use moisturizing products, whenever I see people use like moisturizing moisturizing products like makeup tutorials their skin has that like sheen to it you know what i mean like you can see the glow i feel like because my skin is so dry my skin just like sucks it up like any moisture that goes on my skin my skin just like drinks it up in two seconds so then i feel like i didn't even apply any moisturizing product to my skin i feel like that with all my moisturizers all my moisturizing primers 
I think it's just like the dry weather here and it's winter, but literally my skin is like the Sahara Desert. Hold on. What I've been doing is like, I also spray my, oh my God, the door just started opening, babe. Can you warn me when you walk in? I'm here talking about nothing. Talking about nothing. No, it's just a hydrating spray. Want some? So yeah, these are the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundations. They look really orange on camera. The packaging though is fire. I love the packaging. I love the monochrome. I love the cap. Um, I need this color. Let's try the lighter color first. Guys, I'm telling you, my skin just feels so dry. So I'm hoping because this foundation has that like skin-like finish, it'll give some moisture to my dry ass skin. Um, I need a brush, 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 brush. Okay, this is very orangey. And this is the lighter color that they gave me. Maybe their undertone. Well, both of these are a yellow undertone. That's the problem. And I'm kind of a mix. I'm like a, I'm a true olive undertone. I'm like a mix between, like I have a little bit of pink. The thing is I do have pinkness to my skin, but that's just because I have acne and like irritated skin. My true, true skin undertone is olive. Um, I'm gonna mix some of this Maybelline Matte and Poreless. The thing is on all my Instagram pictures, I'm spray tanned. So I'm sure like brands, when they like gift me products, like they look at my Instagram and they're like, oh, she's like tan. When in reality, I'm like a ghost. I'm gonna mix a lighter foundation in there. This is Maybelline Fit Me, one of my favorites. You guys already know. Yeah, see that looks a lot better. So here is the foundation on my skin. Obviously I don't get like the full effect of it because I did have to mix the foundation, but it really does give you that skin like finish. The only problem is that foundation I mixed it with has like a, it's like matte and poreless. So it gives you, you know, more of a matte finish. And I feel like this foundation is meant to give you that like dewy skin like finish. So I don't get to see that, you know, on my face right now because I did mix it. I definitely need to like go in store and, you know, get my shade because I really do like how the formula looks from what I've seen on like TikTok and stuff like that. So I definitely want to try out different shade. I'll probably DM them and see if they can maybe send me another one because I did go to dinner with them. So this is just like the bag that they had for me, like the little goodie bag at the table. Other than that, I am just gonna move on with the rest of my makeup. Um, the concealer I'm using today, where is it? Is also Makeup Forever. I love this concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD as well. Yeah, I love this HD line. Um, this is in the shade 20. Um, I'm just gonna use this underneath my eyes. I'm not gonna talk too much with my makeup because again, I'm literally just doing like skin and lashes and I need to be done with my makeup in like 20 minutes. So I'm not trying to distract myself because y'all know me, I could talk up a storm if you let me. One thing about me though, I love a bright under eye. That is just one thing I'm not getting rid of in my routine. I know like it's been like a trend now, the more natural under eye and like people literally do like a little line right here, a little right, line right there and call it a day. I'm like, girl, I guess I'm stuck in 2016 with my under eye because I love it. Like I love like a bright, bright under eye. Um, if I could, honestly, I've seen people using just like white concealer. I need to try that. I just need to see how that looks on me because I'll probably like it. Um, I'm also listening to a belly, Bella, belly. A Bella Fiori, um, what are these called? Mystery Mondays. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and listen to this, finish up my makeup, and I'm gonna show you guys the finished result. Hello guys, it has been a very long day. I am just so ready wash my face and go to sleep. But I realized I didn't show you guys like the final makeup or anything because like literally right when I finished getting ready, we were out of the door so we can get there on time for our reservation. But guys, look what I noticed when I was in the car. I put in two different earrings. Look at that. I mean, at least with the same like material, they're both like silver and like diamond looking, but I was just shocked. I like touched my ear and I'm like, wait, what is going on? I look in the mirror and I'm like, I'm wearing completely different earrings. You know, I've actually left the house before wearing two different types of shoes. Um, I guess that's just mom life. Like honestly, 
my brain like i was just like scrambling to get ready that i just grabbed whatever and i just left um uh, but yeah my makeup again you guys it was nothing crazy that's why i was like not even pressed to show you guys i didn't even put on lashes i just wore a mascara if you're wondering about my lip combo i am wearing mac cork and then my lip my lipstick not lip gloss my lipstick is mac yash i really do like this color but i will say it's a little dark i do prefer like a lighter pink like what is that color by mac it's not yash there's another color by mac that i like that's a little bit lighter and it's so matte but that's why i always take like a super light gloss on top just to make it not look as dark and this is the buxom lip pumping gloss in the shade white russian sparkle i love these glosses i've been using it forever but it does give you like a minty you know feeling on the lips which is nice unless like again you're out to dinner and you're like about to eat i didn't like having that like minty taste like on my mouth as i'm like eating steak you know what i mean but yeah guys dinner was really fun honestly time just flew by like we sat down at 8 30 and then we look at the clock and it's like 11 we're like okay it is time to go you know we got to get home to the kids it was so nice to see yvette and ulises we always talk about you know hanging out and it's just one of those things like i was like let's go out to dinner this weekend you know what i mean because we're always like let's hang out let's hang out and then obviously we're both so busy it's like hard to make the time but it was such a fun night that restaurant was so good and again i've never been to the one here but i thought it was really really delicious the service was a little slow but other than that it hit the spot it hit the craving i was definitely craving it so bad um but yeah guys it's super late i just did some cleaning but guys having like that deep clean come once every two weeks has helped my sanity so much they just do the things that you know they're really tedious that i just personally don't like to do like wash our bed sheets um wash our shower vacuum our stairs you guys know like things like that that you don't do every day for your daily clean that just you know really does add up so i love the fact that i have that luxury and that privilege to just know that that's going to be done for me you know once every two weeks but we still gotta do like our daily upkeep and our daily clean. I didn't show you guys my outfit either because I'm an outfit repeater. Like I will wear, this is like one of my go-to, you know, safety outfits for like a dinner. I'll wear my black turtleneck, these Zara leggings. I'm wearing my little flip-flops with it right now. But see how they have that little slit? And then I wore a black coat and let me show you guys my shoes. I wore a black coat on top and then these are my favorite heels, my Jimmy Choo's. These look really good under these pants, like with... Um, the little split so I love these shoes with these pants and then for my purse my little Balenciaga love this bag guys I am so annoyed by the internet with this whole spoiling euphoria so like if you don't watch euphoria obviously today is like the last episode so I mean I can't complain about this too much because it's not going to happen again for a while is this camera crooked it is crooked but people will tweet about euphoria like the second it comes out they'll tweet about it they'll post instagram spoilers even the actors of the show are posting spoilers and the new episode just came out like three hours ago like dang like can you guys give us a second like i fear like going on my phone right now because i'm like i already saw one spoiler y'all about to spoil everything else you know what i mean like it's like a race to you know spill the beans like can can y'all give it a second so i mean mel and i were gonna watch it but it's already so late <sighs> like i'm just annoyed because like i want to go on my phone i want to like scroll on twitter but literally all of twitter all of tiktok all of instagram is just euphoria spoilers guys this is super random but look at how scary this gorilla looks that came in vaughn's like kit like look at this you know this is like a kid's little play toy like why don't you think it'd be like a cute little gorilla like no this is like gonna give me nightmares yeah guys i need to shower i need to wash my face i always dread wearing makeup because i know i have to take it off i hate taking my makeup off with a passion but yeah, guys, I'm going to wash off my tan, wash off my makeup, and go to bed. Make sure you guys check out the write-up linked down below. And we will see you guys for our next upload. Bye, everyone.